Welcome, and today I wanted to share a little video on free energy. And not just the basic functions of a free energy machine, but more the deeper workings, more the atmospheric particular workings of how free energy actually conducts and behaves in nature. And once we understand its natural principle, we can begin to harness it. So this is a video that I found on Flat Earth British Subs channel, and I will leave the link below. The video was originally in Russian with English subtitles. So without further delay, I'll present this video to you. I hope you enjoy. Determining the electromagnetic processes, exactly this sequence forms. Universal laws that define everything in classical physics for our world. But energy inside nano worlds it exceeds the nuclear unthinkable number of times, 10 to the 74th power. Rotary motion of the ether elements can be converted into vibrational and further into electricity. Exactly like hidden power of steam converts the motion of a locomotive. You only need to make a locomotive for the nano world that will force its elements to vibrate. If we succeed, it means a fundamental new source of energy that creates high frequency electricity from any point of space. Conductor of special shapes directs vibrations of ether elements along its surface. That will force its elements to vibrate. It is important to keep this vibration constant. That's why conductors must save energy. Such a conductor is called a resonator. Vibration is saved if lost radiation is less than 0 0.01. In this film, especially in CGI, everything is possible. But in reality, it's more complex. To achieve resonance, required a high accuracy of manufacturing, perfect purity of the materials, distinct knowledge of the matter on subatomic levels, and of course financing for this process. This is the Radio Technical Laboratory. Here we're testing resonating properties of various systems. In our case, it's so-called Neptune's Trident. turning on grounding tire, or hooking up ground, and generator of signal transmitter, taking off reflected signal with electromagnetic tester. Signal depends on the position of the tester. Maximum tension is on the peak of conductor. It's not easy to excite a resonator but this device is showing the presence of resonance. This grid is made of several cross-like resonators. The less radio waves it emits, the better its resonance properties. From this comes high demands on quality of material and symmetry of it. Let's try to measure losses in radiation. And here the signal depends on the position of the tester for all existing resonators. Coefficient of reflection is less than one, but in our case it is higher. 
It means the resonators have converted inside energy of ether into electricity. Hypothesis of using energy of nano world is confirmed and therefore makes useless all efforts of humanity for improving usage of wood, coal, oil, ecologically dangerous chemical and nuclear energy. As you know, all projects of perpetual motion machines are not even accepted by any patent office. But in our hands, it's not perpetual motion machines. It's just a converter of ether energy into electricity. The other thing, that energy of nano world itself is inexhaustible. The motion of the environment, air moves the flag. Physically, it's possible to imagine the motion of the flag relative to the air, like how the fish swims in water, or like a snake crawls on the land. They use the environment for the movement. And you can also use the environment of the nano world to produce movement as well. If you break the symmetry of the resonator, the power won't be counterbalanced and it will bounce off the ether like a fish or snake moving against the environment. This is the resonator that converts the energy of the nano world into electricity. All other working resonators appeared very familiar. Tridents of Neptune, Zeus, Shiva, Perun, and other gods. All of them are symbols of power and energy. Is it an accident? This is the model of the nano world with an access of symmetry. In this view, it's clear that the base of it is the Christian cross. In another view, the same axis forms the Jewish Star of David. A computer model will brighten this phenomenon. This is the rotation of the model of an electric propeller, so-called devil's wheel. In this one, clearly seen is a swastika. Science model of nano world unites the symbols of all the religions. Strange, but isn't it an accident? If an antenna can shake the ether, can it bounce from it? like a fish from the water. Th these discoveries left different symbols of the religion. Black square, cross, cross of Komi people, cross of Udmurt, Latvian pattern. And here appears the question, what of those analogs? What made from real prototypes energy converters? How does it appear that all forms and structures in our models always produced in traditional ornamentation, designs, utensils, fencing, and other decor and in numbers of rituals and decorative objects. The same connection of our models is seen in religious architecture.
model of five domed motor. It's easier to check than resonator. We just need to conduct the source of energy and electro charges excite resonators and begin to move according to all the laws of physics. You can think that motion is related to sparking and with another side effect. However, experiment showed that influence of charges and electroflows was blocked by hermetic camera and circular path is blocking effects of static and magnetic fields. Motor is working even inside metal screen. Resonators can change their shape because the most important is only symmetry. But how to make the motor more powerful? You can combine a battery with many elements. Here they must work in one direction. Such converting will keep resonance properties. Repeating the operation in a different axis or poles, you can enlarge traction force. Further compression of the system enlarges its unit of power density. Looks like a carpet plane from Fairy Tale. The development and implementation of such energy sources will lead to a new technical revolution. Well, that's it. I do hope that you enjoyed. And next time you look and see, you know, crazy domes and funky antennas or just perfect symmetry in design and architecture, I think uh, we'll think differently and realize that there could have been, and of course there probably was another purpose.